Hi, this is John. In the previous video I've picked this ABIS cylinder for a project I'm working on. I'm trying to uh, rekey one side of 21 locks I've got. I've got a clip. This will trap the key pins in the lock. I'll use a piece of tape to, to stick it all down. I use a clip remover to remove the C clip or bendy clip or whatever you may call it. I have to find the entrance. There are the entrances. That's one. That's two. My guy. There's the core. Toss the key pins, key pins, and repeat. One more clip. Tape. Short clip. Ah, don't cut yourself. Remove the clip, remove the core, and toss the key pins. I am now at the stage where I can sort the key pins. Um, there are uh, nine different heights and a few different types. It has been a few days and these locks have occupied my table for far too long. Uh, it's time for me to finish this project. I've got myself a cup of coffee. The stage is so far. I've uh, took all locks apart. I've sorted all key pins. Put the key pins back into the, the cores of the lock. And now I have to put the uh, locks back together. Before I put together the, the cylinders I have to check a few things. Uh, for example if the um, driver pins are still here and if the cam is present. Uh, it's all lined up. I just slide the core in. Just slide the core in. Why would you fit? There we go. There, the core is now inside. I can remove the clip and turn the core uh, right side up. There it is. So now it's all locked up again. Uh, I do not have a key for this one. I will have to impression the key for this one. But that was the um, challenge all along. Remove the tape and for now put it aside. I've ordered a bunch of bendy clips, uh, but it will take some time for me to get them. Only now there are, it's a different key for this side and this side, which makes it useless for everyday use, but great for me because I need more locks to impression with. 
This will be all. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hi guys, I was too quick with signing out. Uh, I forgot to put back the bendy clips on the locks. Um, yeah, you know, bendy clips. <laughs> I've got some new ones. I've got some new ones on order. Uh, I just want them to, these to be perfect for the locks. For this, I've made myself a new plier. This is the standard electrical uh, plier, the cheap kind. And I ground it down uh, in a nice uh, lip. And it works works great for putting on the C-clips or bendy clips. It still is pretty fiddly, but this tool helps immensely. There we go. I've marked all original sides with an A. And this is the B side, which I pinned up myself. Uh, now I have here uh, 21 locks. So in total 42 locks to practice my impression on. Furthermore, I have now uh, quite a lot of these bendy clips. I will be trading away, giving away on various uh, forums or Conferences. These are the key pins to the C83. Uh, the bottom three are uh, serrated on top, the next two are T pin on top, the last three are spool on top. I don't have the uh, last size, I don't even know if it exists, but I think it does because the specs says so. Out of all 114 pins I have, uh, none of them are this size. So I don't know. I'm going to check with my impressioning buddies if it even exists. These pins feel quite different to standard pins when impressioning uh, because some are serrated, some are the T pins. Uh, but because this is the standard for impressioning competitions in Europe, uh, we have to do with this. And it's quite likely Avis will change these around in the future to make it harder on us. Thank you for watching. Again, bye. Hi, this is John again. Uh, I've messed up. I've put these logs uh, back together wrong. Uh, in this way, uh, the cam is on the on the wrong side. Uh, but also, uh, I can't fit the key in. <laughs> See, it sticks out right there. This is because I put the moving part uh, back there uh, on the wrong spot. I've picked them all again, cut them, reassembled them, put the moving part in the right way, and now they all function correctly. So, what have we learned? One, I now know how to pick these C83s with the new pins, serrated pins, and all my nice stuff. Two, check when disassembling a lock, how it goes back together. Don't mess it up, so they don't have to fix it. And three, I don't know. I have one still left to do. I will take it apart and show you the insights on a different video. Bye.